Hey guys, DMV Solo Rider here. So the other day I was uh, checking out some local DC motorcycle blogs and there's a Reddit page called, I think it's Ride DC, Ride at DC, DC, something like that. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, but there are a couple comments that inspired me to make a new video. Uh, the first one was someone new to the area looking for scenic rides and the only response he got was the only obvious response which was GW Parkway definitely a scenic ride uh, right here in the immediate DC metro area and the second comment was from a beginning rider looking for good beginning rides and I came to the conclusion that they were actually one and the same. Um, if you watched my other videos in my, you know, introducing DMV Solo Rider series, <laughs> uh, I kind of described how I started riding motorcycles when I got my uh, Indian Scout, and kind of that process. You know, spent a most of a week in a parking lot, and then slowly my, made my way into like local neighborhood roads, then three lane major roads. And then eventually I was on the highway by the end of my second week. But, you know, in more detail, uh, my main practice route, once I got out of my parking lot, was slowly but surely making my way over to Duke Street and then taking Duke Street down into uh, Old Town and then from Old Town uh, heading south on the GW Parkway up towards Mount Vernon. Uh, and I think it's totally reasonable as a beginning ride as well as just a, not just a scenic ride I would say the the word of caution I would give to a beginner is if you're on the GW Parkway heading in the opposite direction uh, kind of like from the 14th Street Bridge towards the Beltway Tyson's you got to really watch those road conditions um, you know it's heavily trafficked it's not paved frequently there are a lot of cracks that aren't just, you know, across the road, but go in the direction of the road. And I find that, you know, if you're not prepared for it, it can make your bike ride squirrely. Like your, your tires will get stuck in the crack and your bike will shimmy a bit. And if you're not expecting that, that can freak you out, especially if you're a new rider. Um, but other than that, I would say go for it. Just use your head. If you're new, just go the speed limit. And also, I, I guess I would add, from like 14th Street out towards Tyson's, the Beltway, you know, watch that traffic. You know, if you're just learning how to ride and you're getting used to riding next to cars, traveling at speed, uh, you know, that road can be a little nerve-wracking. You know, people will tailgate you, people will cut you off. Just use all your practice skills and do your thing. But when I was learning, I think kind of towards the end of my first week, I had finally gotten out into neighborhoods and I would ride down here to Duke Street and just kind of, this was like the, the busiest street I had been on. And I would just come down here and go a little further, a little further. And then turn around and go back and just do it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I thought this was a good kind of starting main road. Because you definitely have traffic. Uh, you have Telegraph Road coming up ahead. So you get some folks, you know, cutting over lanes to get over there, make their turn off. You get a little bit of a mix. You get plenty of lights, so there's stop and go. You can practice your... You know, you're braking, you're lane changing, you know, just going slow using the uh, friction zone and your brake, a little bit of throttle without having to put your foot down. And like those are the kind of basic skills I think you should have if you're going to get on a, a road like this with traffic. And I used to take a lot of breaks when I was learning. You know, 
when I would think about getting geared up to get on my scout, I was I would get so amped up that once I actually got on it and started riding, my heart was going a million miles an hour, and I just I felt like I needed to just stop, take a deep breath, review what I had done, make sure you know I didn't almost kill myself, which I never did. Turning over here, some stop sign practice. There's a couple little curves right around this courtyard area. And I just thought it was really helpful to doing things like this just to help you put it all together as you're learning. I think I mentioned in my introductory videos the thing I had the biggest trouble with when I was learning how to ride a motorcycle was remembering to turn on and off my turn signals. Just pull around here, grab a little shady spot. I mean, usually I was riding at night, but good enough. And then I'd just chill out. You know, get off the bike, walk around, relax, think about anything weird that had happened. I mean, maybe not quite that cautious, but cautious enough. And then we'd get back on our bike and head out. Uh, kind of similar to what I said about GW Parkway for a beginner Old Town has its share of pretty awful roads as well Lots of cracks potholes the kinds of things where if you're not paying attention if you're not ready for it It can pull your bike Unexpectedly and that's the kind of thing that leads to drops We're just back on Duke Street heading into Old Town We're gonna make a right on, uh, God, was it GW Parkway? I can't remember. South Washington Street is what it's called inside Old Town. And actually, that brings up a good point. So, I, you know, when I was in the MSF course learning how to ride, the true basics, they never really covered some, some more specific issues. Like, if you need to make a right turn uh, on a red light, with traffic coming on and you need to turn into the rightmost lane to avoid oncoming traffic but make your turn I don't recall MSF really giving you that skill set and when I started coming down here making my right onto Washington Street see here are these horrible roads that can pull your motorcycle all over the place anyways when I started coming down here and I needed to make my right on Washington Street I really wasn't sure how to do it. In fact, I don't know that I would have even thought about it, except I had come across a video on YouTube by Fast Eddie at Moto Jitsu, where he just happened to be talking about this exact scenario where you gotta make that right turn, you gotta make a tight right, and you need to make sure you don't make a lazy turn because if you loop out into the middle lane, you'll get plastered by someone. And I hadn't really thought about it, and right as I was watching that video is when I started making making it this far. And the solution is you kind of turn your handlebars to the right, lean your bike a little bit to the right, give it some gas, and then slowly let out the throttle or the clutch. And your bike will just whip right around the corner. But I didn't have a clue until I happened to stumble across that video and hadn't even really thought about it. Uh, but for you beginners out there, what I would say is you do you. You know, if you aren't comfortable trying that in traffic, which you probably shouldn't be for the first time, don't do it. You know, just because someone behind you might want you to make a right on red 
doesn't mean you have to you go at your own pace I mean I've been riding for for less than a year but close and there are plenty of times when I don't make that turn especially since I've been riding my uh, chieftain I'm still not you know amazing at low speed maneuvering like that on this bike you know if you recall from my Nanjamoy ride didn't quite nail that u-turn <laughs> oh, on that point just to revisit so the reason I sometimes struggle with u-turns tight u-turns is uh, if you watch my introductory videos you know I have a herniated disc in my neck which can be very difficult to deal with so it's really hard for me to get my head all the way around like you're supposed to for maneuvers like that and sometimes I just can't get it but like I said that's why I got my chieftain I needed a more upright seating position there's another chieftain and that's why I have my bagger so here we are we're kind of getting out of Old Town further south towards uh, Mount Vernon and it's a beautiful ride up here again for beginners I would say you know be cautious with the road conditions there are no huge potholes or anything but there are definitely areas of this road where there are buckles that will put you out of your seat if you're not careful well even if you're careful you're gonna come out of your seat a bit you just got to be prepared for it So yeah, I would just, you know, I think after a couple days, I started making it this far. There's a gas station up ahead. I'd stop in there, just catch my breath. It was actually the first gas station I started visiting regularly. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful out here. I don't care if you're a beginner, if you've been riding for 30 years, you can't beat this ride. You just want to get out on your bike, enjoy some nice weather. But this is the ride. You know, here's the GW Parkway heading towards Mount Vernon. It's gorgeous. You know, the traffic's never terrible. Just watch the road conditions. You're just looking for nice scenery. This is nice. We're just about at Mount Vernon. It's not a long ride. You could do it all day if you wanted, if you wanted to practice as a beginner. And here is the big traffic circle in front of Mount Vernon. Nice, easy beginning ride and a pretty one. Yeah, so when I was learning, I would just pull off over here. There's a post office and a parking lot. So I will see you guys on the other side of Old Town. I can show you those terrible roads so we're just passing under the 14th Street Bridge and we'll get to those terrible roads in a minute but yeah for scenery you can't beat this I mean, just look at it Washington Monument Jefferson Memorial let's get over beautiful Potomac you would think it was clean it's the Lincoln Memorial I know with this super view on my GoPro it's hard to see some of this stuff Kennedy Center Memorial Bridge it's nice and cool down here by the water it's just amazing I'm lucky to be in DC and have all this stuff to see every day One word.
word of warning there are pedestrian crossings right here on the parkway and people actually expect you to stop when you're going 50 miles an hour so <laughs> don't kill anybody chain bridge road's still fine over here I guess it's a little further down. start seeing the patchiness the cracks in the middle of the road I don't know if they'll they'll come through on the camera but they're here so it's a great ride you'll enjoy it just be careful people in their boats all right guys well that's gonna do it for our uh, you know scenic ride in the immediate DC area as well as our GW Parkway is good for beginners series <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching if you'd be so inclined I'd appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up that way more people get access to these videos and I can get more feedback and see what people actually want to hear about instead of me just droning on but until the next video thumbs up and I'll catch you later